makes me feel this way What if how come All of these feelings They plague my mind They roll around, around till I'm out of time Oh, they pull me in, put me down Lift me up and push me around Wipe this smile from my face Disappear without a trace If I was older would I be wise Enough to see the love that Comes shining from your eyes It's elementary Or so I'm told You can't fill up the heart The man ain't got no soul Yeah, so nice to meet you. And uh, yeah, that, what you, at the end, do you want to talk about your band, uh, Melodian? And again, an- another interesting name. Where does that come from? It, it's a slang word in Ireland that means uh, when something's bad. Yeah. Like the the full expression is Cap Melodian. And that was the name of my old band. Yeah. And then we split up, so I'm just Melodian now. Okay, so yeah, so. you carry on the uh, tradition. <laughs> so how long have you been a musician and doing what, you, what you're doing? Um, I've been doing it since I was a kid playing in garage bands and then playing singer-songwriter nights in Belfast and things like that and then I've been doing it professionally or well, trying to do it professionally for maybe eight or ten years. Okay, nice. And have you been able to sustain yourself doing it? Yeah, well, I'm g- it's getting there, you know, it's it's hard, but it's worth it. It's, it yeah. yeah, because you, you enjoy doing it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, so I'm loving it. This is my first time in London now, so... Oh, really? Yeah. How, how are you finding it? Yeah, it was, it's class. I've been just knocking about Camden for about nine hours. Just oh, so you're literally your first day here, your first yeah. time here. Wow, <laughs> that's great. Uh, that's great to see. And all you're you're in amongst it, being in Camden. Yes, definitely. It's buzzing, and can't wait to get back. I'm coming back again. I was supposed to be back next week, but I'm not. But then I'm back in March, I think, a couple of times. Okay. 
And or then, playing your like own gigs? Yeah, well, I'm doing support for a girl called Dara Williams. Oh, yeah, I know her. Yeah. And then I think we're building towards... I'm going to come back with the band. I have a band. And come back with that maybe April or May. Okay, so you've you know been able to get your name about in your music, and so yeah. getting these uh, you know slots as it were, and then getting your music out there. Try and build a bit of profile, and then come back over with the band. You know. Okay, how's that? How have you found that? Was it has it been hard work? Because I know that you know sometimes the the social media side or you know promoting your music can be just as hard as you know when you're creating it in the first place. Um, it seems it's it's a long old road. You know, I've been out of ages and. Just recently, I started working with like, management and stuff. Just about nine months ago. Okay, have you found that helps? Take some, yeah. take some of the tasks off your shoulders, as it were. And it's starting to, you can see things starting to pick up and snowball a wee bit. And we're working with an agent and stuff who is doing the gig tonight. Okay. The promoter for the gig tonight, and uh, just wee, wee things, that, and then it all snowballs, you know. Yeah, because some of the tasks that w- would be involved in you know, getting things organised, yeah. you can not have to worry about that and just focus on your music, and I'm yeah. sure you can fine tune that even a bit better. Yeah. Just write songs and keep posting on Twitter. That's what they keep telling me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, likewise, in the radio show as well. That's kind of uh, how it kind of moves on. It's mad. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's all good crack. Have you found a, a difference or a change in your songwriting style over the period? Um, yeah, I go through phases. Like when I was starting out, I started out solo, and then I was sort of writing singer songwritery stuff, and it was just. When I made the band, it was just me and the banjo player. All oh, right. And then he played a bit of guitar as well. But then his sister joined, and she played percussion and stuff. So I started writing more for band. And then when the band broke up, I went back to thinking I should be doing this on an acoustic guitar on my own. So I was writing really stripped back stuff. And then I started playing with my own band. Yeah. And I was loving it, so I started writing more upbeat stuff. And oh, so you you had an idea of so you didn't so much write other parts, but you had in mind the songs that were yeah. might be sound well with the band. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's cool. It keeps you on your toes and keeps things fresh. You know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so you're kind of changing and going back and forth. And yeah, because I guess if you it's probably not even, but in, in my head it is, <laughs> and it keeps it fresh for me. Well, no, so. is that well? It's, it's fresh for you. That's you're the only thing you know, and then you just that's how it's reflected out. Yeah. Which is quite nice. Is there anything in particular, like song writing wise, topic wise, or do you write it from your own experiences? Just from my own experiences, I find the lyrics are probably the, the hardest thing for me, and I think it's because it has to be something that's real for me yeah. so like I can't sit down and say right the topic for today is going to be this and then write a song about it I usually something will come to me and then it develops and then it's something that I've been thinking about or something real you know yeah, some experience or emotion you have about something that yeah. can bring out sometimes it just comes like that or sometimes like I play a wee song called Bathtub Blues and that came about I have a wee girl and she's six and I would play songs when she's in the bath, and one day she said, sing a song about the bath. <laughs> so just on the spot, I had to write this song. <laughs> so it's bathtub blues. So oh, lovely. Sometimes you get songs like yeah. where you, you have to write about something. But, but after you write a song, do you feel like it's a release and you've let something go with it? Usually when it's recorded, I feel like that. That's interesting. When it's, sometimes when it's written, but it's usually when it's recorded because then still the recorded arrangement and all can change, you know? Yeah. There's some songs that are really old but still I would play them in the house and all and I think it's because I've never recorded them before and I still want to record them, you know? Yeah. Oh, nice. So at least, you're, you know, as I say, you're able to, you know, continue doing what you like doing and make, and make some kind of living from it. That's wonderful. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you, are you based still in Belfast? Just, yeah, in just outside Belfast. And Be- Belfast is cool too. It's, buzzing at the minute for the music so okay well, all types of music yeah and uh, loads of studios springing up and more sort of promoters and there's even a couple of wee labels and stuff there's more sort of the background of the music industry is sort of coming together more because I think there's, there's always been good bands and stuff in it but I think everything's starting to gel more so it's becoming more like an industry you know yeah oh, that's great so they're kind of organised on a yeah, bit yeah. larger scale so uh, Oh, that's good. So how can people find out about you? Just malogian.com. It's M-A-L-O-J-I-A-N. And I'm on Facebook and Twitter and all the usual <laughs> madness. Well, nice to meet you. I'm looking forward to seeing you play. Thank you. All of the people that are hanging around Laying your pound in my dream
I've lost everything 